Listen. Well, to the extent that a white supremacist has anything to do with anything that black people do, they do things that are harmful to black people. That's the answer. The prisoners of war are supposed to be harmed the way that they think. You got color in your skin, you are eligible to be dominated and mistreated. That's what you you are born for. That's what they are taught. I mean, it's not even personal. It's just built into the system of government, world government, that if a person has color in his or her skin, in every area of activity, find a way, if you're white, if you're classified as white, have been, quote, unquote, fortunate enough to have been born white, part of your duties, one of your main duties, is to walk around on the face of this earth, and if you encounter, either deliberately or just incidentally, people of color, particularly people classified as black, of the non-white people, you are automatically supposed to think of a way, regardless of whatever else you are thinking about. If you are classified as white, you are supposed to automatically say, yon goes a person with color in his or her skin. Now, as a duty, as a white person, it is my duty to kind of figure out a way to get over there where that black person is and figure out a way that you can do some type of harm to that person. Period. That's the way they are taught. That's the way we all are taught. Black people are taught to treat each other that way. By whom? Directly, indirectly. Through the books and all like that and through the use of the word dark and black. You know, and the way the word is used. Well, that is outlined in the code book, in the word guide, and in the basic textbook. The way the word has been used, dark or black. Something evil. Something, you know, that, hey, what is that? Uh, throw rocks at it. Uh, stop it from moving. Uh, and if you're not going to stop it from moving it, watch it while it moves and see if it does anything that you can find a way to disapprove of and then take action against it. Now, when you see yourself that way, you're seeing yourself the way that the white supremacists and most white people on this planet have been taught from birth to react at the sight of a person who has color. The darker, the more foreboding the more Halloween, the more walking dead, the more ghoulish, the more grotesque that thing is. Something that brings horror, something that is a terrorist, something evil. They're taught that. So you're supposed to understand that. All right. Claude Anderson, he recently said it was almost a mind-blowing point. Claude Anderson said that when black people kill black people, we're actually emulating white people. Absolutely. I mean, he's not the only one to say that. I mean, hundreds of books have been saying it. I've been saying it. I mean, and black people know that. Black mm -hmm. people get up in the morning, a lot of black teenagers all over the world now, and particularly in the Northwestern Hemisphere, it's completely self-evident. This is what all the locks on the doors are about. This is why walking down the street is dangerous. It's because we have got black people walking around all day long looking for an excuse because we're trying to, particularly black males and a growing number of black females, looking for a way to prove that we are somebody. And the way that we do that is you do harm to another person of color. Some, find somebody that looks just like you and try to, hey, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get all over that thing. I'm going to kill that thing. I mean, that thing shouldn't even be here. You know, I shouldn't be here, but I ain't got nerve to kill myself, so I kill him because he looks like me. That's a reflection of me. That reminds me of me, and I can't stand myself. So why could I stand him? 
and that's why we kill each other by the bushel all over the world as we're speaking right now. Mm. And we call it tribalism. We give it all kind of names. Well, you ain't a member of my gang. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're all fellow prisoners, that's all. But you got prison gangs, all right? And the warden says, well, hey, let them kill each other. I mean, hey, the less burden on the taxpayer. <laughs> you know, we're tired of running ambulances for these Negroes. <laughs> mm. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been... From what I understand, some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what I had written very well. But when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because... People are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever. 